Amanda and today I'm here to do my 12 and 13 week update. Um, I'm currently 14 weeks and two days and I'm at home today so we have a little change in scenery. Um, this is actually a shower curtain. I'm in my bathroom because um, pretty much it's the only place I have light to film and if you hear like keys it sounds like it's really my dog. Shaking his collar and his chains. And he might be barking too because he's acting crazy today. So if that happens, I'm sorry. Um, so basically back to what I was saying, I am 14 weeks and two days today. And um, according to the What to Expect app, baby is the size of a lemon, which is approximately three inches long and one and a half ounce which is getting pretty big um, I have 25 weeks and five days left <clears throat> so I guess I'll start off with my symptoms for 12 and 13 weeks and why exactly I haven't been putting up videos like I should um well last week's video anyways I haven't been feeling my best and I'm just exhausted they said it's supposed to go away, but honestly, I mean, I do feel a little relief. I don't feel as bad as I did in my first trimester, which I forgot to say, I'm officially in my second trimester now, so go baby. But anyways, I'm not quite over the tiredness yet. Um, and that's really the only excuse I have. I haven't been feeling really good. Just like today, I took off work because I just... I'm exhausted and then when I go to work and I'm just exhausted that's all I can say um I start getting sick especially if I overwork myself and I do a lot at work um, I will get sick and nauseous feeling and just like this overwhelming feeling that you know I just need to rest so um, yesterday I felt it really bad so I decided that today I will take the day off just to relax and um, you know catch up on some sleep and things like that so my next symptom is I've been breaking out again if you can see on my face these are not cold sores these are bumps these are um, pimples so that's a lovely side effect little girl's been giving me. Um, headaches. I have been having headaches nonstop. Um, I try not to eat sweets, but I find out that if I do eat a sweet, the headache goes away. So I'm wondering maybe is it a problem with my blood sugar or something like that. So I have been keeping these little um, crunch bars with me, like just the little mini ones. And if I get this feeling like that, I might have one. Um, and sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it makes me nauseous. <sighs> it's one or the other. <laughs> so, um, another thing is I've been having some severely stiff neck. I don't know what's up with it, but my neck always hurts. Um, and I thought at first it was the way I've been sleeping on it, but I wake up sometimes at like... You know my normal time to go to work and my neck will be fine and then as the day goes on it'll start hurting again and it's in the same spot it's about you know here down and it even goes into my shoulder and my back back here sometimes um and i don't know what's up with that i've been thinking about going to see my chiropractor but i really just haven't wanted to be like the whiny girl you know the whiny pregnant girl um, cause I'm very grateful for, you know, everything that I'm having to experience because that means I'm going to have my little baby girl that I've been waiting on for so, so long, but it sucks. It's hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a lot harder than what I thought. Um, I used to be one of those girls that would watch pregnancy vlogs and I would hear people complaining and I was like, just be happy for what you got and quit complaining. But now I'm going to apologize to all those girls because you know what? It's hard. It really is hard. Um, okay, so I have been having a couple more nosebleeds. 
has been having. Really? Come on. So I, ha I have been having a couple more nosebleeds and I just got a little visitor. So I'm just gonna show you a little peek of my baby boy. Calm down. So this is Fester. He's my pup, he's almost five. He'll be five in December. Him's my baby. So maybe I'll make a video just about him one day because he is my $5,000 dog. And there's reasons behind that. But he wanted to come visit. So I told him he can come meet y'all. So I say bye, Fester. Okay, now go to bed. Okay, so I have been having a couple more nosebleeds. Nothing like they were. Um, they have slackened off a lot. I might get one like once a week. So, um, I no longer think it's because of the Levinox. I think it's because of just regular pregnancy. So, that's good. Um, another thing is I've been having stretching pain um, all in my stomach. I mean, even at the top. Which is very crazy because I've, um, I know that my uterus isn't up there yet, but I've noticed in my rib area, like right in here, I have a lot of stretching pain a lot. And also at the bottom. Um, some of it's sharp, but it's not like very painful. It's just uncomfortable. Um, let's see. That's it for my symptoms. Um, oh, sorry. I think that's it for my symptoms. Um, so, as I mentioned in my last update, um, I have a little bit of spotting around um, the last part of 11 weeks. So, like 11 weeks, 5 days, I believe it was, somewhere around there. And it was just a couple times when I wiped and it was just brown, um, old blood, but that's still alarming anytime you see blood. So I made an appointment with my doctor and we done an ultrasound just to check on baby, make sure everything was fine. And um, I doubt you can see my phone because it always just shows up this blurriness, but um, I'll just insert a picture. So, here's the picture. So, he didn't actually give me a picture. I just took a quick shot of the screen. Um, so, it's really hard to see, but you can see somewhat. Um, I was exactly 12 weeks in that picture. So, um, baby looked good. He didn't really do a measurement. He was just checking for the heart rate and all that. And everything looked perfect. So, um, he told me to come back at my normal appointment, which happens to be this Friday, which is the 9th of October. And I will be 14 weeks and 4 days. Not sure what he'll be doing at this appointment, but um, it's just a routine monthly visit. And I'm excited. I'm just getting to a point where I can be excited um, about my appointments because I'm not really scared and that's thanks to a Doppler that I have. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get it. That I use almost every day or at least every other day is the Sonalign C1. Um, a lot of people say get the Sonalign B but I wanted to get something that was better but I don't really like the way the wand is shaped, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so. It came in this box, which is just a pink box with a pregnant lady on it. And I got it off eBay. It was like 50 bucks, so it's like two parts, and put it together. And it also came with this gel which I've used all of, and some headphones. Um, I don't really use headphones. I did at the beginning when I was like nine weeks because um, it's hard to hear. So, um, but basically this is what it looks like. It says pocket fetal Doppler, and you turn it on, and you can...
can't really see the screen. Okay, but basically it has a little measurement right here and I don't trust it at all. Um, the way I've been getting the measurement is recording it, um, counting 30 seconds of beats and multiplying it by two. And I've been getting around 160, um, 155 to 170 depending on the time of the day. So, um, maybe I could try to put a clip in here of me using it um, in the bedroom because I have to be laying down. It will be darker, but I'll see if I can put it in here. But I use this every single day and I just absolutely love it. Um, it's not hard to find anymore. The first time that I used it, it actually took me about an hour and a half to find, which was a long time and I did take breaks, but um, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where the baby sat. Well, now she sits in about the same spot every time, so I can find it almost right away. But, as I said, this one's kind of curled, and it's supposed to make it easier. But, say here's my belly, and you have to, like, move it around like this. My arm gets very tired, and sometimes I wish that it was just the straight one that I can hold it like this and feel around that way. But, anyways, I love it, and it's probably the same as the Salon B, just a little... You know, just a little different. So, I think that is it on this update. Um, I will be doing an update next week after I go to my appointment. Um, you can expect that maybe Monday through Wednesday, somewhere around there. And I'll try to have it up on time. I'm not going to make any promises because, like I said, I haven't felt good. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling on my work schedule. But I'm going to be trying my best to get that update for you. So, I believe that's it. If you have any questions, just um, leave me a comment below. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions or do a separate Q&A question. Okay, guys, so, you can't see my face, but um, I have been finding her still pretty low on this Doppler. On my belly button's here. I've been finding her down here on the right side, kind of closer to the middle. So, I'm going to see if I can find her. Okay, so I hope you heard that. And if not, I'll have to do a separate video. Um, it wasn't picking up very loud because of the position she's in right now. But going to end this video with a belly shot so here's my belly at 14 weeks and two days starting to get a little bump here it is with the clothes off with the shirt up and the clothes off you can see it getting round down there So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Bye.